back on the trail on day six. I've just left camp about five minutes ago, which was about 9.15. I always said I was gonna have a bit more of a laid back morning today, knowing that today was gonna to be a shorter hike. So it's actually the shortest distance of all days on this one for me. So it's only 13 kilometers today. So I was pretty happy just to have a pretty casual morning sleep in a little bit more and uh, yeah just get away a bit later fortunately the day is much cooler than yesterday as well it's it's overcast now there's a few little drops of rain starting to fall I think they might be forecasting potentially showers later today but yeah this is much better conditions for hiking my preferred so yeah just heading towards Patterson's camp for today so there's another one of the ones along the river and ah oh, look I'm just going to take it pretty casually so I'd expect to probably get in there early afternoon I would guess um, so yeah it's just going to be a pretty cruisy day today I think and uh, hopefully the rain might hold off until I get camp set up this afternoon <laughs> uh, but otherwise should be a pretty nice Relax day on the trail. So a few things to mention this morning. First of all, milestones. Second, what happened to Mark? And third, just some tips and advice about campsites along the Great Southwest Walk. So First of all, some milestones. Today, I'll actually be hitting the 100 kilometer mark, which is pretty huge. I think I, I either have just crossed it or am about to, so I don't know exactly where it is, but I just know that it was about four Ks into today's hike. So that was a pretty big milestone to hit. Uh, second of all, I talked yesterday about the fact that Mark hadn't really made an appearance at the campsite and I was starting to wonder what happened to him. Anyway, he rolls in about 7.30 last night and it turns out he'd actually just um, basically stopped for about four hours where I actually stopped for lunch yesterday at a place called Saunders uh, and he just decided to see out the worst of the heat before he started hiking again and just hung out there and went for swims in the river which is probably a pretty smart move because it did get bloody hot yesterday got to 32 so Mark is all good and well and uh, he actually set off ahead of me this morning so I'll be seeing him at camp and then finally the thing about um, some advice on campsites so basically most of the campsites along the Great Southwest Walk are either hiker only or hikers and canoeists there are a few that actually have general camping right beside the hiker walk-in campsites as well and Pat, uh, sorry not Patterson's Battersby's where we stayed last night is one of those and so it also happened to be a Friday night and there were a few campers in the next little drive-in camping area which is literally just you know 100 meters from where we were and uh, and they were obviously getting on the booze friendly guys like they were sort of older guys and you know they actually gave me that pair which I talked about yesterday and they also gave us a couple of beers which was nice of them but um, yeah, they look. They, we knew they were probably going to have a late night, and they did. They were kind of 
doing their version of singing well into the night until about 3 a.m. Amazingly though, I actually slept through a lot of it. I think I was just that tired that I just uh, was kind of out to it. I only really woke up once at about 2.30 and they were finally just doing their last few numbers before calling it a night. Anyway, it's just something to know because that's one of them and I think there's maybe a couple of others on the ocean side that are the same. So, whereas most of the other ones are either, yeah, as I said, hiker only or canoeists as well and tend to be a lot more peaceful. So it might be just something just to think about when you're planning your itinerary uh, to try and get maybe to those ones midweek when you may, may not have the weekenders there doing the drive-in camping. So yeah, anyway, it's a great morning, my body's feeling good and uh, enjoying the hike today. little spot here on the river called Sapling Creek for some lunch and it's uh, been just starting to get a few drops of rain coming through so uh, I think there's some more showers expected later this afternoon so I'm hoping to get to camp before it gets sort of too rainy and get everything set up so uh, I actually just not long up the trail before I just um, came across a crew from Friends of the Great Southwest Walk who were the volunteers that actually do all the, the trail maintenance and they were just uh, freshly sort of mowing and slashing a section that I was just walking through. So I had a quick chat to them and uh, they're very friendly people and uh, just, yeah, just really um, great to see them out there and you know, it's a good chance to say thank you to all of those people who just make it possible for us to be able to enjoy these types of uh, amazing walks that we can do uh, with all of the maintenance and uh, effort that they put into doing all of that uh, work uh, for the enjoyment of others. So, nice little place to have a bit of a rest stop and uh, uh, it, yeah, it's apparently just that roughly 4Ks to go now and uh, I'll be getting into Patterson's uh, which should be early afternoon. So I will see you at camp. Here it is. Patterson's. I'm here at Patterson's campsite I'm actually right now just a little bit around the bend from there at the canoe camp, which is just a little bit further around on the river bend. So uh, there's no one at the canoe camp and just Mark and myself at Patterson's. This one's a really nice spot. There's cliffs around us, as you can see behind me, and uh, just a beautiful little peaceful spot on the river. So Mark's actually got the fire going as well. So uh, we're just getting a bit of firewood together for that and um, yeah I got in here at about two o'clock so it was definitely the easiest days walking of all the days so far and just having a nice relaxing afternoon now in what is a probably one of my favorite campsites so far it's really nice this one so yeah just going to take it easy this afternoon and uh, have a nice relaxed evening uh, and then got the final hike into uh, Nelson tomorrow uh, where I'm going to have my rest day. I think there might be a little bit of rain coming this afternoon too, so good to have camp all set up before that comes through. So first little test of my new Z-Packs 
Alterplex tent in the wet weather. It's been raining here at Patterson campsite for around about two hours now and uh, so far it looks like it's holding up pretty well. Can't see any water coming in anywhere which is a good sign and uh, yeah if it rains all night hopefully it's going to do the trick. But um, yeah good to give it a little bit of a test in the rain to see how it goes.